Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to focus on how to set up vulnerable web application. So, in this case, I'm going to show you how to set up OSAP Juice Shop vulnerable web application in Parrot OS. So, the idea is we are going to install that web application server on the Parrot OS and after that using the Kali Linux Z a proxy or zap application we are going to scan those vulnerabilities so which is safe you can practice within your virtual environment uh, of this web application so today's video we are not going to scan this vulnerable web application using zap but today we are focusing on how to install this application on your parent always so First of all, you have to download the Juice Shop web application, vulnerable web application. So quickly go to the google.com uh, and you can OSAP, you can search actually OSAP Juice Shop GitHub. This is actually GitHub repository as you can see. Click on first link and you have plenty of information on here you different installation methods um as you can see from sources docker containers amazon instance so anything you like today we are focusing on how to install this one on docker container so simply i'm going to use parrot always for that so first of all, I have to install Docker. So if you don't know how to install Docker, so here is the um, tutorial for that. You can follow this and you can install the Docker simply. So what I'm going to do here is sudo apt install docker.io and it will install the Docker for you. I uh, will a little bit increase the font size of this one. Okay, now Parrot always is installed in the Docker, which is we're going to run the vulnerable web application on top of the Docker container. So we just have to follow these four steps, very simple. Okay, we are progressing 16%. So once that's going on, okay, we have to wait. Okay, now that is that has been installed. So then we can do the second step. Copy and paste. Or oh, maybe it will ask sudo. Oh no, that's fine. So now it's pulling out the um, juice chop um, docker version. We just have to wait until it's completed. So one it, once it has been completed, then we can run the third step. Simple steps. You can do very simply. I'm just focusing on this area, the Docker container. Okay, it's a little bit fast than I thought. So, okay, it's done. Now you can copy this command simply and paste into the same terminal and press enter. Okay, now it's starting the Docker application. The server has been started, listing on port 3000, very simple. So you can simply go through this link. There we are. So this is the vulnerable web application. 
called O's and Juice Shop. So you can do like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, those like those type of hands-on skills you can practice with this web application. So I will do another series of videos how to do the web application penetration testing, especially using Zap or Zap. Um, that's it for today. Stay tuned. If you have any questions, any comments, just leave a comment on the comment section. Stay tuned. Catch on next video. Thank you, guys. Thank you.